Hello, I'm back with you today to share this Daffodil Dance stamp card that I have made uh, for the Scrap and Stamp um, blog on Saturday. This is a stamp by Penny Black and um, it's only the second time I've used it, although I've had it for a while. But um, today I'm going to be coloring it, as you can see, with my Zig. Um, color brushes. I really like these color brushes for this kind of uh, use. Um, of course a lot um, of you would be using your distress markers which basically do the same thing. Um, I just like the colors that I'm using today for this daffodil set so that's the reason that I chose to use the zigs. Uh, and plus they're wet. <laughs> which makes it a little bit easier. Mind you, you still have to add water from time to time and you'll be seeing me do that as I progress. It is a rather long video, I do admit, uh, 21 minutes, it's uh, kind of long. But what I'm going to do, I'm not going to make you uh, watch 21 minutes, I'm going to um, just tell you a little bit about what my plan is and then I'm going to let you watch uh, the coloring process and what I do. I do end up heat embossing and um, doing some die cutting. Um, the heat embossing gives a lot of texture to the card. It, I think it looks really pretty. Um, so I'm going to start that now and then I'll come back in towards the end. This should um, at least take some time out of the length of the video as well, but allows you to capture what I do with the, the colors that I'm using. Um, I am using three different um, greens. I'm using the gray, the mid-gray tone for just a few things on the uh, flower. I'm using orange and scarlet red as well. Uh, just the, the colors of the two work well, you know, outlining and edging and what have you on the flowers. And I'm also using um, two yellows, a regular yellow and then a bright yellow. So those are the colors that I picked for this. Um, of course, my Ranger um, Mr. Bottle, Misting Bottle. And uh, that's about my Misty. That's about it. Uh, for this card. So sit back and I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back.
so I'm coming back to you. I've uh, just been adding a bit of color to the finished stamping of the card um, bringing in more yellow I'm using um, some of my watercolor palette um, I believe this is a Schmenke cadmium yellow light that I've um, used for just this background piece the bottom part is a little bit darker than the top I've also done some die cutting um, cut using two of my um, wonky rectangles one for the larger piece that has been um, attached to my card base and this smaller piece was cut from this the larger one of course and I've added uh, fun foam to the back I'm using my Sook Wang tape or be creative tape and uh, I think that's 3 8 inch I've got there and I just attach it to uh, just give it a little bit more depth and I think the colors have, have turned out quite well I quite like them in any event um, I'm also gonna add just to finish it up some nouveau jewels um, I think I've got um, the translucent ones in um, yellow and green and orange and just you know putting a few in to add some more interest um, I didn't put a sentiment on it I think I'll just save that for the inside when I decide who I'm going to send it to I think I've finished my Easter cards um, I, I didn't do very many of them but um, I finished them and uh, so I'll use this for something else but I hope you have enjoyed today's card and I thank you very much for stopping by and having a look and for watching my video and I will look forward to seeing you next time bye for now